Now we'll talk about the software. Now before you start the software, make sure your 3GX is on and booted up, hooked up to the uh, data port on the 3GX with the dongle. Did you say dongle? Mickey, please be quiet. I'm trying to do a video. As you go through these pages, these are the instructions. Uh, I've kind of condensed them and changed some of the grammar in the file that's on my website under the sports section, 3GX. This is the screen where if you want to revert back to an older version, you would use revert update. Don't download the old version and, and update it that way. And be sure that you remove the older software before you install the new software. Now here we're adjusting the flight condition control. We're going to take it from the default of 50 to 20. And we want to save that. So... If we want to go back, we can go back. If we want to give it a meet this file, we want to give it a meaningful name. So we'll name it uh, Flight Condition Control and then put a uh, small description of what we've done. We went from 50 to 20. And then put a date and even a time. So that if you want to go back to this uh, set of parameters, you can do that with no trouble. And then write it to the 3GX and go do a test flight. See if you like it. If you don't like it, you can come back, change it back, change something else. And if you'll save these files, you can go back and forth as many times as you want. If you hover over these items, you'll see some notes that are pretty handy. All the parameters on this page can be adjusted on the 3GX. On the page before, you have to do that in the 3GX software. And before you fly, you might want to go to this screen and move your sticks around. You'll see how your roll rate and flip rate has changed. And uh, you can check your tail rotor rate if you've changed anything there. Now, initially, I like to go to this screen just to check to make sure that my rudder gain changes when I flip my switches. As you can see, I'm flipping the stunt mode switch and the gains are changing. That's what you want to see if you have different gains in your different modes. I also notice my elevator reverse is now normal. If you were watching in the videos, I had it set to reverse. And I noticed that uh, my elevator, when I tilted the helicopter, it didn't move very much. That's a clue that something's wrong. So I went back and checked it and uh, put it back on reverse, and it worked real good. Now I'm going to go back to that first change. Software is a little clunky, but uh, it, it works pretty well. 